now and hopefully Skype would not be a little pig and drop calls tonight because the Wi-Fi is the devil of me Wi-Fi is your word it is it's, it works sometimes and sometimes it's like No, you that know, it's it. like, no, Skype is just listening, and it's like, that's a nice podcast you have there. It'd be a shame if something <laughs> happened to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's conspiring against us. Yep. <laughs> the, the, the evil corporation. Secretly evil. They they pose as nice people uh, who uh, who give us these uh, free services, but truly they are evil. Yep. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. <clears throat> kind of look just. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. 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 hey. Just looking at my physical copy of Garfield's Am I Cool or What album. Yes. Yes. He bought it. I found a physical copy of the album at Walmart for five bucks. I'm surprised they even cared. It's a nice catch. It's like, seriously, you still got the album from 1991? God. Mm-hmm. Well, if somebody what, has to buy it. Was it the same album that they put put on the shelf in 1991? <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, it says digital master, so it might be a reissue. Hey, if it's on the shelf, then eventually it'll sell. No matter Is how it long sitting it there collecting dust? <laughs> Just all wrinkled up and be in, in the plastic, be like. <sighs> oh, it's dusty. Let me wipe that off. Oh, hey, there's, there's a little gem in the forest. Not. Actually, it's not that bad, actually. But it's just worth talking about. It's like, really? 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 An album? A smooth jazz album? The Temptations, Patti LaBelle, Carl Anderson, Natalie Cole, The Pointer Sitters, Sisters, Lou Ross... B.B. King. Well, of course, Lou Ross, I mean. Here it comes. And, like, he sings for every Godforsaken Garfield special, so. Yeah, that's where it. The, uh, Here comes Garfield. That's the song. Is on the album. Here comes Garfield. Yeah, that's the. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's on the is, album. Here comes is, Garfield. Is all his? Wait. Just, just is that. It, just is here. it, like, is, is that the only Lou Ross Garfield yep. song that it's in there? Yep. Here comes Garfield. Uh, all right. <laughs> There's even like a little backstory in the, the guy pamphlet. That uh, uh, the guy notorious for doing every song, every Garfield song. Yeah, that's for. Uh, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Where the heck am I? Oh, the for, let's see, ten Garfield TV specials. Ten? Uh, he did them all. Mm. Okay, I guess he didn't do the nine. Okay, he didn't do nine lives. And what else? I don't know. I just they were just writing. I guess I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. Because hold on, I'm gonna. Mm. I, I, you're, you're gonna look. You're gonna Google oh, this shit. Check. I gotta Google this shit. He did that. He did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look it up. The. Uh, loop. Okay. I know one of them is Nine Lives. Maybe Feline Fantasies. Maybe Feline Fantasies. Um. Or prob. Nah. He did the Christmas one. I think. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, Either feline fantasies or Christmas. Yeah. Here comes Garfield. I might have, might have to put this on the end of the video. <clears throat> just a flat. Did just a flat. Nothing just, to it. Just, nothing to it. Because that is where it's at. Lot, huh? I need to re-listen to this. I just... Garfield's movie jazz. Am I cool or what? You know, just looking at it, it's like... Yeah, By well, the way... Let me, uh... uh... Just out of curiosity, it's a good album, right? Uh... Some are, some are hit and miss. Some are good and some are... Eh... So definitely better than Mickey. Oh, Earth. yes. Because look, it this album was so good it reached number twenty three on the contemporary jazz Billboard chart. It was at least in the top twenty five back in nineteen ninety one. Here is one track All that right, I kind so of like out of here. Actually, Buzz. Shake your paw. Wag that too. Yeah, the Buzzfeed gives the music. This, 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 music. This, this, this. I guess the temptation is. Seriously, what? You know, I I seriously find that one catchy. (laughs) I do. I like it. Well, yeah, BuzzFeed gives you three out of the ten, and <laughs> maybe the rest are on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if you're interested. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, let's get this podcast started. <clears throat> Going. Or are in. we waiting for Morgan? Uh, no. I was just making small talk. What are you talking about? (laughs) I wasn't diverting from Morgan at all. I was not trying to distract you guys from anything. Um, uh, okay, let me, um, just vibrate. Oh, yeah, that's good. (laughs) Okay. Okay. All right. Wait, what? I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> Nothing. <clears throat> Anyways. Wait, what is it that you have to turn off? What? Oh. Oh, oh look at that. Just in time, Morgan popped off. All right. N- not awkwardness at all. All right. Let's, <laughs> now I can really start. Yay. Hey, Morgan. Mike just turned off his vibrating thing. Hold on. Take a break, Matt. He's not in here <laughs> I just yet. Had... Wait. 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 Silence. Here we go. Evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Why is everybody Hello? so quiet? Hello. Hello. Um, I'm not disappointed. Well, the slime is And we're talking for each other. Great. That's what I need. A little overlapping. And the Slimer of the group has finally arrived. Slimer! Yay. Oh, now I heard that. Took it long enough. <clears throat> Technically, there are only four Ghostbusters. So you would be... Hey, hey. Are we ready? So how was the game, Morg? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, it went pretty well. Uh, Patriots won. 
Woo, yeah. Ooh, yay! Now I'm ready when everyone's ready. Alright, I'm just double checking. <clears throat> just double checking. I'm ready. <clears throat> Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. So as you were saying, as you were saying, Mike. Or anyone? Mike, we're waiting for you to wrap this up. Wakey, wakey. Uh-oh. Did Mike uh -oh. fall asleep I in his booze think... again? Uh... Uh -oh. Epa. All right, uh, wait, we need a diversion. Anyone, can we... Uh, is there anyone here who can make a good Mike impression? Uh... Um, um... I can't. <laughs> Excuse me, did you say my name? <laughs> this is Cinema Roy. Did you need to take a You're dump coming. and just not let us know? I wanted to leave leave very quietly so you guys are continuing talking without me interrupting. <laughs> no okay, way. good. I was, uh, I was secretly looking up for the next episode, so... All right. Oh, God, that really is Mike. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> which what? one of us is the true Mike and which one of us is the alien? <laughs> alien amongst us. Um, Which one of you has a dark board next the... to you? James, get the blood test ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways. I got a flamethrower and a <laughs> and a petri dish. Who wants to go? It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Oh. God damn it! <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> we have created the best episode ever. I think this might be the yes. most the, the next episode is going to be the most viewed episode ever. It's yes. it's going to be outranked. It's going to outrank Nicolas Cage any day. Just so you know, Nicolas Cage oh, no. films was the most viewed. It's nice. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I'm a star. <laughs> Uh, oh, we'll see. Uh, let's see. God, he sucked, man. <laughs> Two weeks. Hated from... that movie. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I almost peed my pants too. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, I was so close. I was like, I gotta keep this. I gotta keep it. It's so funny. Oh, uh, by the way, you stop recording, right? Somebody get Hopefully somebody get happens. Mike a uh, a jar. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like dumb and dumber over again. Yeah, yeah. I was just I was just thinking about that. I was like, give me a bottle, give me a bottle. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry! Drink. You drinking Grandma's whiskey again? <laughs> 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 oh my god alright so two weeks from now it'll be January 12th just so you know next episode okay and yep. I just figured out what the next uh, movie Gore Verbinski's gonna direct mm. Mm -hmm. which one? Clue they're remaking that? yep Ooh, nice. Is it going to have multiple endings? I I don't know. I, I I hope they do. It'd be fun if they did. Oh, that would be Oh, that would be awesome. That would be so mm. that would be so ideal for like people to come back. Cuz they originally dropped it, but then they 
decided to uh, revise it again with Gore Verbinski teaming with Hasbro. Uh, so now he's producing it and directing it. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. As long as Johnny Depp is not involved, I think we'll be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Hope so. Oh god, man. Yeah. Seeing as, seem as the butler, he's... good god. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I think you're the, one... the butler in this one. Yeah, I think you were the one who murdered him, but then again, it seems as if it could be impossible that you might not have murdered him, considering how that speck of blood in your coat, but then again, it could be from that last body we detected back then on the floor, but seeing how you have a butter knife in your hand, there's no way it could have been killed with a butter knife at all. You should write the script. I know. I know. Uh, you know, not... and you will. Mm. Whoa, are you? And I have good news for all. Hmm. Hmm. Good news. <laughs> good news. Is Matt in an echo chamber. Yeah, Matt's echoing. Yeah, I'm in another place. Sorry. <laughs> It actually sounds. I'll be back to the non-echo place. It sounds awesome, actually. I I think Matt has officially gone to his man cave. <laughs> yes, Matt's man cave. That's where his pristine. That's where his pristine print of Secret and Them exists with the deleted footage. <laughs> oh, does he also have the ten minutes of deleted? Uh, footage from Land Before Time? I don't know, but I think there's oh, some movie. stencil cells in there that are left over from it. <laughs> it's true, they actually have the actual uh, the actual cells, they just they just don't want to reanimate it because it's going to be like a pain to do that sort of thing, but there's actually more than just uh, damaging psychological footage. I looked it up, and there's a weird scene they cut out where they come across these two dinosaurs forming their own oasis, but that got dropped, I think, at the very, very last minute. It was like, they're like, oh, we don't rely on these people because they have horns. Oh, we don't rely on these dinosaurs because they're, like, flat-footed or something like that. It was it was, it was ridiculous when I read it up. But it was like, they won't share their food or water because they're not working together or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. You know, what's actually funny is that I can imagine that one day we're going to see a, um, a we're going to see like an extended cut of, uh, uh, what was it, the, um, of All Dogs Go to Heaven. Because technically Don Bluth owns the extended cut. He actually has like the parts that were deleted from the film. Hmm. That is That is true, though I'm trying to remember, he did mention something about a print of it getting stolen but mm, I'm trying to look it up here oh, oh, oh no 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 actually you're actually right he does own a private film print but it is yet to be released mm-hmm. so it all depends on him I also like the- and right now like right now I know he's doing nothing like he's just doing his community theater work well, and like actually, there is still that like what well he did do some video game work recently yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world, yeah, Tapa World Tour. Yeah, but like. Yeah. But from what I'm hearing, like recently, like nowadays, like he did do those video games. Yes, but like, that is technically still then. It's recently, but still then. Now he's doing uh, the theater work. If it does help, there's a rumor going around that. The um, increased release of Don Blue's um, titles, they're actually trying to get him to return for another feature, but they have yet to announce it. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, that, okay, that I really, that I want, that I want that to be true. Oh, my God. So, so oh, far, it's my. in the pipeline, but, so far, it's in the pipeline, but it's not um, been confirmed yet. Uh, Maybe it's going to be that Dragon's Lair movie that they talked about for so long. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always find it so funny when they talk about that Dragon's Lair movie. It's like, we're going to be making the Dragon's Lair movie. It's like, okay. It's like seven years later. Oh, how's the Dragon's Lair movie? It's still going. We're still writing it. Okay. 
It's been seven years now. Normally, writing doesn't take that long. We're planning to release it after Jawbreaker. <laughs> I still think that could have been a really good TV show. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, before we started up this podcast this evening, uh, Matt and I were uh, discussing, uh, speaking of Lamb Before Time, Don Bluth, etc., etc., uh, oh, no. discussing um, Walking with Dinosaurs, which he just got, got back from recently. Um, <laughs> and I. <laughs> No, it was actually because I'm editing the review now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and I it'll propose... be tomorrow. Okay. I, pro- I just I like to say right now... Um... Uh, what are you saying? Is there a window open for me to speak? Yes. Okay. Um, Sorry. I actually propose that perhaps uh, when it comes on Blu-ray, if the Blu-ray version doesn't already do this, uh, would it be possible for someone to come along and make a silent cut? Yeah, like a director's cut. Or bet, no, the best title for it would be Walking with Dinosaurs 3D, the Shut Up Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bye! Uh, that's about right. No, but, like, I'm sure, I'm sure, like, it'll happen. If not done by BBC or Fox or anyone like that, it's going to be fan-made. Someone will make that. Let me assure you. Mm. Yeah. Because, like, and this thing is too good. And that will be the version that should have existed Mm-hmm. Or because maybe they the should have had just one narrator in there and had it had it go like Milo and Otis or something. No, I think they were. I, no, no, no. Like I checked in the. I checked like the, like what was was it spo- like during the production? It was supposed to be all silent, no narrator, no nothing. It was all like just the dinosaurs. Hmm. Even I saw Jake Norville's review of it, and I was not surprised to hear just how bad it was. And it was a shame because they really liked the animation, but the story, the way it was being told, the never-ending poop jokes, it was like, wow. They No, you know, the complete, biggest problem... They were continu- no, go on. Sorry. The, the other problem they had was that they felt this movie was, you know, literally saying, we think our audience won't really understand what's going on here. We'll just have them, you know, speak and do occasional, usual, traditional, family yes, generic kind of things. And they kept on, you know, saying, you know, the audience is not that dumb as you think. We can understand what they're, you know, acting and doing don't let them say it and that was one of the biggest controversies when this movie was in development because they didn't want humanistic characteristics being placed to an extinct animal and even though they were anthropomorphized eh, you kind of get what i'm sort of getting at they were worried that they didn't want this to be you know an idea that looked so great and original taken down down just by one simple element, and that's the ultimate fear critics had when seeing it. Mm-hmm. I'm even looking at some of the, the um, interviews right now, and Barry Cook said they were going to do it without dialogue or narration. Um, and I quote, I think originally we were looking at the film that could stand alone as a virtual silent movie. You can turn the soundtrack off and get involved. Um, in its final version, the movie has a narration and goes inside the heads so you can hear what they're thinking. Um, even the film's character designer, David Kritz, said, 
Although the production veered away from being very realistic, the animation still plays independently. The powers that be decided to add narration and voiceover to reach a wider audience, and the characters became slightly anthropomorphized to make them more attractive to younger kids. Yeah, that's the thing. It's the executives that want to add in dialogue so that it can appeal more to young to like the young kids who like the dinosaurs. 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 Thank goodness the they Hobbit existed no for this holiday season. Yay, Ozma! Yeah, how do you guys feel about the uh, uh, the uh, the new Oz movie coming out already? <laughs> That's finally going to be released. Legends of Oz, about uh, Dorothy, something. Yeah, I read about yeah, that. Yeah, like I remember. Yeah, I, I think it's like Dorothy that. of it's Oz. Been, like, it's been delayed and delayed and delayed. I think it's gonna suck. I think it's not even. It's like it'll be like. I, I think it's gonna bomb. It's gonna be. It's like. It, it 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 has a lot of trouble. It seemed to have a lot of trouble at the box office, considering that it, keep, it kept on delaying and delaying. But like now, like it seems that it's going to have a release date in twenty fourteen. But I don't think it's even going to be worth it. I don't think there's going to be that much. There's not going to be that much promotion. I don't think people will care about it that much. I think it's going to be like I'm not going to say a bomb, but I don't think people will care about it that much. Is all I'm saying. There's already a trailer. Mm-hmm. Legends of Oz. Dorothy's I mean, Exactly what I meant. I mean... Yeah. I mean, I'll give it this. It doesn't look like anything, you know, cheaply, like, food fight, but it definitely says rental. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta cut out here. Grab some dinner. Sure. So yeah, I'll talk I'll, to you. Uh, I'll talk to you guys mm -hmm. later. Yeah, yeah I think to... I'll cut out too. Yep. Talk it was to you fun guys later. shooting the shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all recorded too. All right. Uh, all right. Yep. Yeah. Good luck. <sighs> yep. Nice. Yeah. So, bonus episode. <laughs> Talk to you later. Yep. Mm. Right, yep. See you later, guys. Bye. Baby, baby. Uh -huh.